go. Hello and welcome. This is a Jenkins Platform SIG meeting for January 2023, the 13th. Happy New Year. If you haven't had um, Happy New Year already, tons of times. Uh, thanks a lot for being there, Mark and Kevin. Today we have a light agenda. We have some open action items. We have some news about the Docker images. Uh, we'll maybe find just a little slot to talk about Blue Ocean um, containers because there are no really new um, new news. And we'll talk about Debian 12 and uh, of the JDK support for Jenkins and what's new in the containers world for Jenkins and so on. So first of all, we have to find a better time for this meeting in order to get some more people to join us. Uh, so, Mark, uh, should we schedule a Doodle or use another tool to do that? Yeah, Doodle has worked worked well for me, and I, I'd lobby in favor of Doodle. Just announce that, uh, announce in the developer mailing list that we're looking for a new time for the meeting. Post the link to the Doodle and encourage people to reply. Okay. So, um, may I put the action item on you? Yes, oh, absolutely. Are... Oh, thanks a lot. I could have done it, but mm, it's easy. Uh, Happy to do it. Thanks for your help. Then the uh, next open item was uh, ready to the platform support containers. We had to had add Windows 2022, and I think we can get rid of that because later on in the document it's written. Stefan Mull worked on that the previous weeks, and we now have Windows 2022 available. Um, for Azure, I think, and uh, AWS VMs will come later on. Okay, no news about uh, the two architectures. I don't know if the fix for Windows 2019 has been done or not. Uh, does any one of you has any information on that? I don't. Um... I'm not sure what fix Windows 2019 would mean in this case. What it's really saying is we have it to have was an old image. It was an old image oh. or something like that. one year and so it was broken somewhere. I don't think it has been um, unbroken, <laughs> fixed, ah, okay. uh, because we will switch to Windows 2022 anyway. So I think. Right. OK. Um, now, the Windows container support is not going to disappear. Yes, of course, but we'll see. It was easier than expected, I think, migrating to Windows 2022. And we still have, now that it's available for everybody, we have to know if people will use it and if they will have some problems or not. We'll see. Uh, yeah. We don't have yet um, Docker image download statistics, unfortunately. We'd like to have them for the platform and the version to see if it's worth it to continue supporting exotic uh, OS, for example, like Arc Linux or even Alpine, who knows, or even for ARM32, if there are anybody except me who is using ARM32 <laughs> Docker images, I, I just don't know. So if that's possible, one day that would be cool to have them. Um, I don't think there has been any progress on the gathering and exploiting of statistics, uh, thanks to Damien and Jean-Marc Mason. I heard nothing Correct. about that. Yeah. Correct. No hurry. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Nothing really new, in fact. Um, I already told you about the Windows 2022. And we still thinking about adding Wolfie, Deprecate Arc Liners. As long as we don't have the statistics, we can't make decision, I guess. Right. Uh, ahead of time, we don't really need that, but I wanted to make the test. So I'm progressing with RISC-V agents with JDK 17. The thing is that the JDK that is supplied with Debian and Ubuntu in the latest versions uh, is a zero VM. I'm not at all a specialist of a JDK and um, GVM, but it looks like it's interpreted. It's not hotspot. It's not JIT. It's just, it's not compiled. You know, it's interpreted. So it's very, very, very slow. And that's not a really good thing. But that's the one which are built 
by Ubuntu and or Debian. But um, the JDK 19 and 20, which are built by Timurin, are hotspot versions, which are much, much quicker. And there are even people in the wild uh, building by themselves JDK 19 and 20 with hotspot for RISC-64. Uh, because we need that. <laughs> so I'm progressing, but not everything is just about perfect yet. Okay, so that's an interesting outcome that matches with the experience that was had with System 390, where oh, really? with yeah, with System 390, Java 8 was initially only available as a zero VM. And therefore it was abysmally, unacceptably, totally and completely on a slow. What IBM did is they then created a new project to do an alternate Java 8 VM that happened to run much better on, on System 390. Uh, I forget the name of it again. It was Semaru. It's now called Semaru. Open J9. That's it. Open J9 oh, is the, the famous is Open the, J9. Okay. Right. Open J9. It was a result of that. Um, it's interesting that this is playing out again now with the new CPU architecture, Risk Five. So zero VM, and really nobody's done a hotspot JDK seventeen yet for Risk Five. No. Okay, so that that tells me that our likely ultimate target will be JDK twenty one when Jen Jenkins supports JDK twenty one. So that's cool, good, and experimenting with nineteen or and twenty would be are good things to do because we running Jenkins agents with zero VM, at least for me on system 390 was completely unacceptable. It just didn't yes. work. It was so slow. It works, but you have to be very patient. And I've seen a performance gain on uh, of four X to eight X when using um, the non zero VM, the hotspot VMs. Not so bad. Then we haven't progressed, <clears throat> sorry, on the container image deprecation for Blue Ocean container, as far as I know, so we can skip that subject. Uh, I don't think we have progressed in the container repository management for Jenkins agent either. Okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, what I was referring to earlier with the Windows 2019 is that it's been one year and the control Docker images are not up to date, but maybe I'm totally mixing things that are not related. I don't know. I'm not specialist of Windows and Windows container. <laughs> Next. Oh, Mark, you showed us earlier this week in the documentation um, SIG meeting, I think, um, that the Debian 12 called Bookworm will not deliver open JDK 11 by default, and that it is planned for release in 2023, but uh, March 14th or something like that. I can't remember if it's freezed or not. Yeah, so March, March is March the freeze 12th. date, likely release April, May or June, right? They, they, they wisely do not commit to a release date, but going through these freezes, if I remember right, the last freezes were typically four to eight weeks. Okay, got it. So what does it mean for Jenkins in general and for the Docker images? Yeah, so so for the containers, it actually doesn't mean anything at all because, because we, depend on, we depend on Temurin. Eclipse Temurin. Yeah. And since we're using Temurin, we'll continue to bundle, we'll likely update to Bookworm. And we'll continue bundling Tamarin, Tamarin 11 and Tamarin 17 in two different container images, but it will cause an update to our installation instructions. So, and the proposal in Doc's office hours was we'll make Java 17 the recommended Java version on Debian, op, Debian and Ubuntu operating systems with as soon as Debian 12 releases. That way we don't have to have two sets of instructions. One that says for anything older than Debian 12, use this. We'll just have a single set of instructions and it says use Java 17. It's fully supported and, and why not? Cool, so we've got work ahead of us uh, regarding documentation, but right. be doable. Uh, okay, does not affect Docker containers, of course. Now, uh, JDK support for Jenkins 
no news from the required Java 11. A few people still discover uh, sometime that they have to migrate to GDK 11 with recent version. We can see that on community discourse IO, but most of the time people just migrated. We've seen the latest um, graph uh, found or created by Basil Crow. And yeah, we have more Jenkins controller with GDK 11 than GDK 8 now, and that won't change anymore. That, wow, that's what we wanted to. And we have to accelerate, by the way, because GDK 19 is already almost out of date. Uh, 20 is almost done. We have to prepare ourselves for 21. So yeah, it will never end. That's a lot of work to do, but that's cool. We are all not as late as what we used to be. <laughs> It's getting better and better. That's nice. Now, uh, S319X is back. Mark, can you tell us more about that? Sure. So IBM has kindly donated a, uh, a virtual machine for us that we connect, have connected to ci.jenkins.io. And there, some of their people also created a series of acceptance tests that run on ci.jenkins.io that confirm that Jenkins installs on system 390 and runs as expect uh, install it does basic install uh, it also run host docker containers running system 390 docker containers and we use that to test debian install with the lts and debian install with weekly so so it's we're we're we are actively testing system 390 with jenkins controllers and we're running a Jenkins agent. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen one uh, for real <laughs> S319. Uh, even don't know if I know what it looks like. Anyhow, that's pretty cool. And that means that it runs with um, open JNF open. How did you call that earlier? No, and it see, that's the nice thing is Java 11 on system 390 has hotspot. So does Java oh. 17. It was only Java 8. That had to do open j9 and okay, cool. and thus as you look back in the notes for the platform sig there was a period a year or two ago when we actively worked on open j9 in order to do if we had to system 390 interest in open j9 tapered off when hotspot java 11 is was mm -hmm. supported on system 390 and it we we stopped about six or 12 months ago uh, any platform SIG work on Open J9 just because there aren't enough people in the SIG interested in Open J9. Okay, it's okay. it's a it's an interesting hobbyist thing, but <laughs> telling you know I we we only get to do so many hobbyist things and at any one time. <laughs> I know what you mean, <laughs> that's for sure. Thank you, Mark. Uh, then we have the infamous um, series of bugs sorry code bugs uh, that publishes all versions of containers uh, damien has been chasing them like a madman for a month and it keeps coming back <laughs> i think he's got a, a track now he knows what to do um a contributor just opened a bug a few weeks ago i guess no last week uh because once again uh the problem is back the issue is once again there but I think Damien now knows how to tackle this. Um, he will get help from the rest of the infra team meeting, and that should be solved hopefully very soon. I think I heard you talk about that earlier this week in another meeting, Mark. Um, I think you have the problem if you use the latest tag, but if you use a precise tag, uh, which is not latest, you should not face the issue. And one thing I heard was, Friends don't let friends use latest, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which right. I love. The, yeah, the the special the special cases where latest makes sense are also cases where you accept that if latest is not exactly what you want, that's that's the way things go. That is un, unfortunate, very sad, but there's not much to do about it because in in other projects, latest could mean the tip of the weekly build or the tip of the daily build or the tip of the master branch, or it could mean the latest release of some ancient version. You know, latest is ambiguous, whereas a precise version number is not ambiguous. That's why in the documentation on Jenkins.io, we always use a version number 
um, with only very few exceptions. Version numbers are really, really helpful. Yes, indeed. And Damien is very uh, strict about that. He kicked me in the head a few months ago, but very, um, he's much benevolent, you know, it wasn't hurting that much, uh, saying, no, you got to stop using latest for your project and using other people's latest. You have to think about idempotence. I don't know if the word exists in English, but no, it, yeah. Each time you rebuild, you get something new, unpredictable, and that's bad. Listen, yes. learn. I don't use latest anymore. And if you ever see in my source code that I still use latest, you can kick me in the head. You're welcome. Okay. Anyhow, <laughs> now, uh, there has been minor update of agent images. I've seen a lot of commits lately, including Alpine 3.17.1 and Arc Linux. Nothing major, just following the new versions. And the LTS 2.375.2 went fine. Um, did I daydream or did I see um, live with Darren Pop and yourself, Mark, regarding that uh, LTS? Or was it about the weekly release? We talked about the LTS just yesterday in a live stream, yes. That's what I thought. You don't have and the time to watch it yet. We, we cheated and also used the... Really? We spent a bunch of time in that session talking about the accomplishments of the Jenkins project over the last 12 months. Oh, so we which is stole, major. Yeah. We stole and wholeheartedly borrowed from the blog post that you and Kevin created. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Kevin put so much work into that uh, recap that we have to talk about it just everywhere we can. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kevin, for that work. Yeah, that's amazing. I have rarely seen uh, that many commits and back and forth in uh, PR about uh, documentation in Jenkins IO. So yeah, congrats on that. Uh, now, Stefan also made available JDK 19 uh, for Jenkins uh, in the infra, and it's available for everybody. And of course, we are already thinking about JDK 20 because 19 is almost end of life. I regularly ask for a new release at um, uh, with the Timurin people, you know, saying, oh, I'd like a new release because there will be some agent. No, we don't build anymore. Um, we rarely build new GDK 19 because it's end of life. It's supposed to end this month or next month. Right. So no reason to do that. So we have to move to GDK 20 uh, as soon as we can and target GDK 21. Mm -hmm. Uh, Infra has also installed Maven 3.8.7. It's available globally. I've also installed it on my controllers, and for the time being, everything is going smoothly. I'm pretty happy about that. I talk a lot. Uh, did I forget anything before we close the meeting? Do you have any question, remark? No, that's those covered Ooh. the topics that were on my mind. We Thanks made for it. Hosting. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, the recording should be available from 24 to 48 hours. And until next time, have a great time with Jenkins. Bye-bye.